Yo, 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 friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday morning. Here in the... <sighs> here at the house. Like I posted on uh, Facebook this morning. I woke up this morning. You ever, you ever just wake up in the morning? I wake up every morning the same way, you know, like this, like the way I'm about to explain to you. But you ever just, you wake up in the morning, man, you just feel blessed all the time. You feel like blessed that, that, that the Lord, God above, you know, woke you up, you know. <laughs> it just, to me, see, it doesn't get any better than that. It don't get any better than that. So, like, um, I don't know how people can wake up and not feel great, feel good, you know. And we all have our problems, our trials, and our tribulations, but it's stuff you have to deal with. But if the Lord, I always look at it like, if the Lord wake, wakes me up, then that allows me, He allows me to deal with those things. So I deal with them. And also, like I posted on Facebook, I woke up thinking about, and this is like every Sunday. This is like every Sunday, nonstop. I mean, this is every Sunday. There's no question about it. <clears throat> I woke up thinking about all those all my heroes, not just people I knew in my lifetime, like regular people. R regular people, what I mean is like, not, not people that's entertainers, just people that you know, people that you grew up with. I think about them too. How, you know, where they're at in, in heaven, what they're doing, you know, that type of thing. And as you know, I'm a P-Funk man, so I always think about my fallen funk heroes. Our fallen funk heroes. And Glenn Goins is always one that comes to mind because he was the one who actually got me to sit down in front of the council stereo and listen to P Funk. I mean, really, like, really, like take a listen. Like I got, I got to start focusing on this. Like I was listening 71, 72, 73, but something about Glenn just made you you couldn't. That voice just drew you in. You just like, God, man, whatever he do, I gotta follow that. I gotta, I gotta, I want to be a part of what he do. I want to be a part of what he makes. I want to be, like, listen to what he does. Just listen to him sing. Whew, boy, could he blow. And like like my friend, the, the man, Mr. Bob D. Decker, said, if you watch the documentary, he says, uh, Glenn had the most churchified voice he's ever heard. And I agree with that because God gave him a gift. He gave it to him for a short time because, you know, he passed away. But, but you just can't forget them. And you can't forget that voice. And I want to I explain something else. If you ever notice, any time that P-Funk makes a, a, a record that has Mothership something in it, they always find a way to put Glenn's voice in it. M remember Mothership Connection, the song, how powerful it is. And then you think of Fly. The Mothership will fly off the awesome, powerful, fully operational Mothership LP. The gen genius of George Clinton was to Take a sample of something that had Glenn on it and use it for that song because you can't, after hearing the Mothership Connection, you can't, you can't imagine that song without Glenn being in it. So anything you sing about the Mothership, you have to have him in it. You have to have some sample or some of him in it because that's the first thing people are going to think of. Glenn Goins, you hear shakes and rumble, you will feel your console crumble. You got to hit the band, me, Glenn. I got, I got the message from Glenn. This morning, we're going to have some fun with it. Oh, man, this it's just a beautiful thing. Thank you, friends. Thank the Lord. Thank life. Let's do it. This is Glenn Goins. Thank you for the message, Glenn Goins. Thank you.
tell you what, it don't get no better than waking up. With the Lord's help, we can do it. I tell you what, folks, this is Glenn going. What I typed on Facebook this morning is simply this, baby. Check it out.
talking about that great spirit. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about.